Members of the family of Shalom, Tanya, Yossi, Dani, and the younger generation, members of Shalom's scientific family, his students and collaborators, some of them came from near and far. Thank you for being with us. Tel Aviv University leaders and colleagues, present and past, dear friends of Shalom, today we honor the memory of Professor Shalom Abarbanel, a leader in the research field of applied mathematics, one of the founders of applied mathematics in Israel, and outstanding educator, a remarkable scientific mentor of graduate students and postdoc, some of them are here with us, an international scientific collaborator, a great contributor to research and academic training in Israel and worldwide, and one of the founders of Tel Aviv University. The relations between Shalom and Tel Aviv University is strongly rooted in the history of the State of Israel. In 1948, indeed 1948, during the War of Independence, Shalom was drafted to the Israeli army. In May 1948, his unit of military communication was sent to guard a deserted hill in North Tel Aviv. At that time, Shalom was 16 years old, performing very faithfully his first military duties, as he continues to do in the forthcoming year in other broad areas of science, technology, research, academy, and build up of university infrastructure. Sixteen years later, Shalom joined the young Tel Aviv University as a young professor of applied mathematics. The 1964 campus that you see here was very different. It consisted of two buildings on a sandy hill that years later looked familiar to Shalom. It was the same sandy hill that he defended in 1948. This year was 1964, when the Tel Aviv University was inaugurated. Shalom was a major driving force that together with a few young colleagues put the Tel Aviv University on its way to becoming an influential national and global institution of high education and research that it is today. In November 1964, Shalom arrived from MIT and I arrived from the University of Chicago to join the new university. It was love between us from the first sight. Our first meeting focused on modern research facility for the university that consisted of two buildings. I remember vividly our first conversation which focused on computer facilities to put Shalom and decided to put Shalom to a test. I asked him what does he think about the purchase of a small computing machine, IBM 1420 at that time, for the science departments. Shalom passed my test 
with flying colors. We concluded to buy the largest computer available to the academy at that time. To the academy, yes. We convinced the university administration to think big. In three years, we had a CDC 6600 machine, the largest at that time operating at the Tel Aviv Computation Center. That was truly a benchmark in the development of advanced academic research in Israel and actually civilian research worldwide as accomplished by Shalom in 1967. Many years later, in 2016, Shalom together with Giora Yaron, who is here with us and myself, attempted to continue the trend of advanced computations by proposing the establishment of high power computation and national center for academic, industrial, and defense applications in Israel. The implications of this vision was not yet implemented, and I hope that it will be pushed forward. Shalom's role as an academic leader shaped the research and academic future of Tel Aviv University as a modern research university. It started in 1967. And you know, in the academy, you always establish a committee. So a committee was established for academic planning. It consists of Shalom, the historian Tzvi, late Sviyavet, and myself. We decided that moderation is a virtue, and we submitted a one-page report focusing on three central points. Recruit outstanding faculty, establish advanced world-class research facilities, like the computation story, and maintain a and perpetuate existing, exciting, scientific, academic atmosphere. In his service of the Tel Aviv University as the Dean of Sciences and as the Rector of the University, Shalom adhered to these principles faithfully. And these are still guidelines for us for many years. Shalom did not confine his research academic horizons to the academia and made important contribution to technology and defense R&D in Israel, shaping the qualitative advantage of the state of Israel. Let me conclude this tribute to a dear friend with a biblical quotation from the book of the prophet Zechariah, chapter 8. In my translation to a foreign language, it reads, Do hear you the high priest and your colleagues as outstanding people you are. It sounds even better in Hebrew. And let me read it. Shmana Kohen Agadol. We miss him.